There's nothing worse for a fantastic show than when the main character just gets up and leaves. Yellowstone thrived because of Kevin Costner, and we're sure you're as frustrated as we are with the news of his exit. Let's break it down and see how this will impact one of our favorite series. Because as it turns out, Kevin Costner regrets his Yellowstone exit. Sheridan's disappointment and Costner's regret. Paramount Network just announced the second part of season five is premiering on Sunday, November 10th. The last time we got to see a new episode of Yellowstone? January 1st, 2023. Yep, it's been that long. But Taylor Sheridan is not pleased at all. The real bombshell? Kevin Costner is officially out. He confirmed what we've all been speculating. He's done with the show. Fans of John Dutton are heartbroken, especially since Costner had hinted he might return to wrap up the character's story properly. He said he's been let down. This cuts short the conclusion of his character. It doesn't change it but it shortens it for sure. Clearly, he's not thrilled with how things are ending. And it's fair. Costner's role as John Dutton revolutionized 21st century TV, making him one of the most legendary screen cowboys. No surprise, the internet is losing it over his exit. But no need to panic just yet. Paramount confirmed that Yellowstone Season 5 Part 2 will still air, even without Costner. But it leaves us wondering, What's next for John Dutton's story? The Yellowstone Enterprise. For starters, let's throw it back to the whole Yellowstone journey. The show is centered around the Dutton family, who own this massive ranch in Montana. They're basically at war with everyone around them. Land developers, a nearby Native American reservation, and even the national park. It's almost like a real-life cowboy story, from power struggles and betrayal to lots and lots of family drama. The first half of season five ended with a major cliffhanger. John Dutton traded in his cowboy hat for a politician's suit. But being governor isn't easy. His daughter Beth is still the fierce protector of the family, always ready to throw down. And Casey? Well, he's trying to figure out his life while dealing with family drama. And it's truly appalling that Yellowstone is not only ending, but the main lead won't even be in it. Don't worry though, the final episodes are on their way. There's still a ton of drama to unfold. The Dutton family is in total chaos, Jamie and Beth are at each other's throats, John got his political drama, and there's some serious trouble going on with the wildlife. Costner's dramatic exit. Costner is all choked up about leaving Yellowstone. He pretty much said that Yellowstone was something that changed his life, and he loved the show. He's all choked. But then, what exactly is the deal with him not coming back for the next part of Season 5? These new episodes of Yellowstone are being filmed, but Kevin's not even a part of it. There's been a whole lot of drama behind the scenes, with people talking about fights, contracts, and Kevin wanting to do other stuff. Apparently, Kevin was supposed to stick around for two more seasons, but things went south with the show's boss. Kevin's team said it wasn't true that he only wanted to work for a short time. Because of all this drama, Yellowstone is ending after season five. But fans shouldn't worry too much because there's gonna be a new show with Matthew McConaughey taking over. It may be the end of one story, but it's also the start of a new one. Now, it all started when Kevin skipped the Paley Fest. I mean, it was a huge event and everyone was talking about Yellowstone. This is where the speculation of Kevin leaving started. The show bosses were still saying he'd be back, but it didn't end up happening. Next thing we know, Kevin announces he's leaving. The Yellowstone fallout explained. The show's creator, Taylor Sheridan, finally opened up about the whole Kevin Costner drama. He basically said that everything was sorted at first, but then the lawyers got involved and it all went sideways. Taylor said that Kevin wanted to do his own movie project and they tried to work around it, but things just blew up. He even feels bad for Kevin because of all the mess it caused. At first, it seemed like they were on good terms, but then rumors and blame started flying. Taylor wished Kevin good luck with his movie, but he admitted his exit was a huge blow to the show. 
Months later, Kevin shared his side of the story at the Cannes Film Festival in May 2024, when he was promoting his movie, Horizon, an American Saga. Kevin claimed he was frustrated and he talked about how he hadn't felt good about how things were handled over the past year and felt the truth wasn't being told. He explained that he had originally signed a contract for seasons 5, 6, and 7. After months and months of negotiations, they presented a new deal that broke it down into parts 5A and 5B with a possible season 6. Despite all of this, Kevin said he'd been prioritizing Yellowstone since day one. He even tried to move Horizon's schedule around for Yellowstone to work out. But the production kept changing the schedule and he couldn't manage it. And Kevin also mentioned his disappointment that the production team didn't stand up for him amid the rumors. He never missed a day of work or left before fulfilling his contractual obligations. He often stayed as long as needed and questioned why the team didn't defend him, especially since he had committed to more seasons than initially planned. In the end, Kevin expressed his frustration with how things turned out, especially given his dedication to the show and its success. What's next for John Dutton? Since the news broke, fans have been super worried about the future of Yellowstone. The trailers aren't giving away any hints, and nobody knows what's going to happen to John Dutton's character. But there are some pretty cool theories out there. John Dutton dies of cancer. Remember in Season 1, there was a scare when John Dutton collapsed on the ranch. Beth and Jamie thought that it was his colon cancer returning. It turned out to be just a ruptured ulcer, though. Now, four seasons later, some fans think that cancer might be the way they write off John Dutton. But cancer isn't quick, so it would be tough to explain his off-screen death from it unless the writers get really creative. If they go with the cancer plot, they'd need to show hints of John's declining health that have been sprinkled throughout the series. John's a tough guy and wouldn't want to be bedridden or admit he's sick to his kids. So it's possible he's been hiding his illness ever since he got the clean bill of health in Season 1. When John decided to bring racehorses to the Yellowstone Ranch, he told Travis he'd pay top dollar for the best because he didn't have three years to build a legacy. This comment, along with his rush to get rid of the developers before his term as governor ends, suggests he's been preparing for his death. He also mentioned to former governor Linnell Perry that he had no plans to run for a second term, which could be another clue he's been getting ready for the end. John Dutton's heroic sacrifice to save Beth. But there's another theory that makes sense. In the first part of Season 5, the alliance between Jamie and Sarah Atwood wreaked havoc on the Dutton family. Sarah, played by Jackie Weaver, has been Market Equity's most useful weapon against the Duttons. Surprisingly, Jamie even fell for her manipulations. He even told Sarah that he hired a hitman to take out Beth, putting him on a dark path similar to his father's. John Dutton already dodged a bullet when Garrett Randall's goons tried to kill him. So if Jamie's out for revenge, things could get a lot worse for John. Now, some are suspecting a surprising twist where Jamie's assassin might end up killing John Dutton instead of Beth, sparking a fierce showdown between Beth and Jamie to conclude the series. This theory is one of the most compelling regarding John Dutton's fate. While John has always wanted to die peacefully in the field like a true cowboy, he would willingly choose a heroic death to save Beth, the one person he loves most. John Dutton's Sunset Ride? There's this crazy theory going around about what might happen to John Dutton. Some people think he'll just pack his bags and move to Texas with his cows, leaving his kids, Beth and Jamie, to fight over the Yellowstone. It sounds crazy, but hey, stranger things have happened. Everyone's expecting John to die, but maybe the show's creators will surprise us. After all, John's always been about protecting his family's way of life, so maybe he'll just find a new place to do it. Do you think Kevin Costner's exit will change the dynamic of Yellowstone? Share your thoughts and theories about the show in the comments below. And hey, if you're hooked on all things Yellowstone, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.